Hey, kindergarten, it's Miss C. And this week we're starting our brand new positivity project character strength. And that character strength is bravery. So maybe some of you have read stories where the characters have acted very bravely. So if they are brave, maybe they have faced something that is very scary, like a dragon, or maybe they have gone on a very brave and long journey. But being brave, we can use that in our life every day too. So when we are brave, we act with mental, moral, or physical strength, even when we know things are difficult or scary. So sometimes when we're being brave, that means that we are facing things that we're kind of scared of, but we're doing the, what we know is right. So here is our quote, and the person who said this is Brad Henry, and he said, let us be bold, let us be brave, and let us be together. So some of you know our friend Kid President, and he's going to give us a little pep talk about being heroes, and heroes are often very brave. This one goes out to the heroes! <laughs> Everyday heroes! Yeah, I'm talking to you. You probably are like, I'm not a hero, you're talking to the wrong person. And I'm all like, you're talking to your TV. So listen up. I think you're a hero and you don't even know it yet. Maybe you're like me, you look in the mirror and you don't really see a hero. You look and you just see a regular kid. A really good looking regular kid. <laughs> But you, you're a hero. Whether you're a kid or a grown up, you're way more than you might think you are. You're more than your problems and you're more than your mistakes. Somewhere inside, you're a hero. You might not have a cape or wear underwear outside your clothes. That's probably a good thing. <laughs> you have everything right now to change the world. Everything! Heroes are just ordinary people who've done extraordinary things. They inspire other people to be extraordinary. People like Nathaniel. He's 12 years old and he's now okay with the fact that there are people in the world who don't have clean water. He raised enough money to help 30 schools in Central Africa. Madison, when she was 15, she created a beauty pageant for boys and girls that have special needs because she wanted to celebrate real beauty. My friend Bob, he's 55 and he's living out love in so many different ways. Right now he's working on building the school so kids in Uganda know they're loved. Kids can change the world, and grown-ups can change the world. It would go a whole lot faster if we worked together. Heroes are made when ordinary people like you and me decide to be extraordinary. Or extra, extra, ordinary. Extra, extra, extra. Extra, 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 ordinary. Yeah, uh, that's too many extras. Ah, here's what I'm trying to say. If you want to be awesome, treat people awesome. It's about strength. a car kind of strength. I'll pick it up and just drop it and go like, oh, he's so nerdy, but so strong. I want to go out with him. He can pick up a car. But it's not about that. I'm talking about compassion. Nothing stronger than that. It's what changes things. So who's been the hero to you? Da -da -da. Parents? Teachers? Friends? Well, no. Heroes don't always know that you're heroes. We all need reminders. The little things that we do are a big deal. Heroes are people in our lives who see us what we really are. Awesome. Did you hear that? Uh-huh, I said it. You're awesome! You're awesome! You don't need a cape and you don't need money. You don't even need to be bitten by something radioactive. You just need to care. And if you are bitten by something radioactive, you should go to a doctor, sir. It'll make you pee green. It would be cool to fly or be part spider or be part squirrel. I don't think part squirrel is a thing. Is that a thing? Like a man squirrel? But you're already filled with superpowers. So don't wait for a signal in the sky. Look a little closer at the world around you. You're ready right now. It's time to be the hero that you're meant to be, Cake. What are you not okay with? Think about it. Now what do you have? And who can you bring with you? Everybody! 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 You have everything that you need to make someone's day more awesome. 
Someone may never told you this, but I promise it's true. The world needs heroes, and that hero could be you. That hero could be you. And that hero could be you. Yeah. Let's do this. That was awesome. I love Kiv President, and he gave us an awesome, awesome message about being brave and being heroes. He said, it doesn't matter if you don't have superpowers, if you weren't bit by a radioactive spider. He said that all of us can be extraordinary and we can make other people's days better by being compassionate and caring about people. So let's look at some of the questions because Kid President asked us the perfect question. He said, who has been a hero to you? And that is what I wanna focus on today is the question, who has been a hero to you? So maybe someone has helped you with something, made you feel less scared, and they have used their character strength of bravery to be a hero. So think about that today and talk about that with your families. And tomorrow we'll learn even more about bravery. Okay, bye everybody.